Hello, so in this video you'll see me go to the DXF, import my part that I need to from the file. So we're just finding the file here now on the computer, as you can see. So we will load load the um load the DXF in, close it off, we'll scale up to the size. And then we'll get the rubber and we'll take away all of the access drawing um, bits around it that we don't need. As you can see, I'm putting boxes around all the access things to get rid of them. And then we end it. Then the next stage is we go edit, move, move parallel position. So we're moving this L-shaped bracket to the middle of our, to our dating point. So we put a box around it and then we're going to the middle and then we put the datum in zero, zero and then we'll move it to my zero point on where I want to machine it from. And then we'll go end and then we'll go to the machining figure. We'll select the whole machining figure. It will come up green with a red arrow. So then we've selected the machining figure. And then we go to the bottom, as you see on the bottom left, we've got the name. So we'll rename it, which is an L-shaped bracket. And then we'll go to the Z figure. So this is the thickness of the block, which is 40 mil. And then OK. And then the next thing is we go on to the machine settings. So this is the machine settings. So all that we change in here on the machine settings is the material. Everything stays the same. The next thing is uh, the start point. So the start point is zero, three, and then we select the middle of the of that line, and then everything on that setting program there stays the same. This is the cutting condition. So we go C1. It's just a little bit faster, not too fast. Um, this is the cutting method, so we will put, I did do this bit wrong, so we, it does come back to this in the um, program. So then we save it, and then we put the program number, for, and then obviously L-shaped bracket, which is a program name, and then obviously, as you see, the file output name, which will be the L-shaped bracket. And then we play it and then it will show you the cutting lines and then it will come up with an error. So the error, and then we go into the NC program, so the error is saying there's something wrong. So the, the problem that I done was, we go back to the cutting method, instead of a die, it was meant to be a punch. So I'm cutting it out of a bit of block, so it's going to be a punch. And then we re refresh the program. And then we go back into the NC file. On the left here, as you see. And then it is now all correct, no errors. So there's a little troubleshooting problem there in the middle of a program as well. And then obviously this is the pro, the, we are loading the program from the computer, selecting the machine, finding the bracket. So we're looking for the L-shaped bracket file, which is there. And then this is dragged and dropped into the machine and it's downloaded now into the machine. So it is all ready now to be loaded up and run on the wire rotor machine. So here we are just finding the program just to make sure that it's loaded into the machine, which is there, 417, which is the number at the start that we done. So that is everything. Now this is just the um, video showing on how it will cut from the machine, a visual look of it. So this is what it's going to cut out.
But yeah, um, if you do like these type of content, um, make sure you hit the like button, drop that follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, comment your thoughts below. And until next time, thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone. Goodbye.